Hey, how you doing? I'm Tim Holtz. Thanks for stopping by my studio. So today, we're going to talk about an addiction of mine. Stamps, of course. And the problem, where do you store them? Well, I have the solution. This is my new stamp storage binder. It's pretty cool. It has this kind of embossed old world leathery look. And here's how this works. It does zip completely closed all the way around so you don't lose anything once you put in it. We've got these snaps on the side. We're going to unsnap it first. And you think, well, why are we snapping this? Well, I'm going to unzip this. And what I've done is by adding those little snaps, when I open this up, that binder lays completely flat because of that extra little bit of zipper. So pretty handy. So now I can work right from this. You'll notice when you open it up, it does come with a pouch and this pouch is designed to store your stamping blocks, your acrylic blocks. Now it comes with these refill sheets and what they are, these are clear pocket refills. So you can store your clear stamps, all different sets, and the pocket allows you to slide in the image right behind them so you can see exactly where they're going to go. Now you can store in addition to clear stamps, any rubber stamp that happens to be on easy mount. But because of these pockets, which are really, really cool, you can store things like masks or rub-on, stickers, anything in here. Now the binder itself comes with three pockets initially. If you need more, you can buy them in a refill pack, a pack of five. So pretty handy storage system. I love this, the ability to flip through everything and see exactly what I want. And you can store a lot of stamps in this binder. Now, if you have your stamps already on one of the sheets, these are my stamps from Stampers Anonymous. These sheets are designed to fit right inside the binder. So you can just drop them right in and you can house your stamps. It does hold about eight sheets per binder uh, this way. So I'm going to show you how to customize this binder, make it very unique. So we're going to start with just an empty binder, nothing in it. Of course, you can start with one full, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to work with the Adirondack paint dabbers. So I'll just work with some colors. I like to work with different tones when I'm working with this because I think it's going to give it a little more depth. And I'm going to work with a piece of cut and dry foam. This is also from Ranger. Now the reason I like these paint dabbers is they're fast drying acrylic paints and they work on all surfaces and they don't crack off. So that's really important to use the right kind of paint. So. I'm going to give them all a quick shake and I'm just going to work with a lot of colors at one time. So I'm just going to apply some directly to this. I know it's freaking people out going, but wait, I would have to think about this. What colors to put where? Nope. Just start by putting all your different tones down. Use that cut and dry and working a section at a time. You're just going to start rubbing that in. You just kind of blend it around. Now you can always go back and add more color, which is really, really cool with this. Go in if you want to lighten it up. Just use it just like a big magic marker. Go in and blend this out. So, so simple. And just work your way around. Now, the reason I like to work in sections is because depending on where you live, right, the paint's gonna dry quicker. We don't want it to dry too fast so we don't have a chance to blend it out. All right, so. Once you blend it and you're happy with the way that looks, you can go in with a paper towel, take some water, just spray it right on there, and you're just gonna wipe over this and that's gonna bring some of that brown back out. How cool is that? Now we wanna do this, of course, while the paint is somewhat wet because once this paint dries, it is completely permanent, completely waterproof, completely washable. So once this paint dries, you won't have to worry about it coming off on your hands or rubbing off, but how cool is that? And you can just go in and do the entire binder this way. Now, once everything's painted, you can customize it. You can add a monogram, maybe take some grunge board. Because this is just a material, you can actually stitch through this maybe with wire or attach this with brads. If you really want to dress it up, you can add maybe a little bit of bling or even rub-ons. Yes, rub-ons stick to this surface, even though it's really bumpy and raised. Because it is a vinyl, vinyl sticks to vinyl. So you can customize this any way you want, make it your own. It even includes this handy little luggage tag so you can put this on and actually slide in and label the content so you don't have to open them up each time. You'll know which one houses your bird stamps or your masks or anything like that. So stamp storage binder, pretty cool idea I think. It's gonna make things really easy to organize and you can put all of your stamps in a little space. So hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.